hamster toys. So let's get on to the video. The toy that we will be making is kind of like a toy and boredom breaker. It is this little like treat boredom breaker. So I'll just show you how you make it. So this is the finished product and um, uh, I'll show you how to make it. You will need a paper towel, I mean a um, toilet paper roll and scissors. So what you want to do is grab your tube and flatten it out. Just like that. First thing you want to do is go like this. Kind of have them too skinny or too thick and just cut them. Cut about like five maybe? Um, because on here I have about five or six. So, so like, it, and then after it makes these little rings like that. So I'll, um... I'll pick you guys up when I'm done cutting this. So I cut five rings, and when you cut them, they're probably gonna be like this. So just like grab the two sides where they're like kind of flat and just go like that to make it round. And um, so what you wanna do is grab two of the rings and loop them just like this and just like so. So then it's going like that. And um, just keep doing that with the rest of the rings and um, I'll pick you guys up when I'm done doing this. Yeah, even take your five rings because I still have this ring and that there's five and so now you just make your toy and you could just slip a treat through a hole and just close it up. So these are really good to make for your hamster to like chew on and try to, it's really fun watching your hamster trying to get the treats out. The toy is we're going to make this. So this one you'll need, of course, scissors again and a paper towel roll. So what you want to do, I have this one that's non-cut, but I painted it with pet safe paint. Um, so what you want to do is just do it like last time, flatten it out. So now, just like last time, just flatten it out. want to get it and just cut little holes like this and since I have a dwarf these are really good so see I just cut it like so and yeah so if you want to if you if you have a Syrian the answer like I would be surprised if a Syrian could fit through these, but um, if your Syrian can fit through one, just make um, smaller, uh, I mean bigger holes. See, and I'm done, and when your hamster could crawl through, it could go here, come in here, or go here. Just like that. That toy is very easy. I don't have a like after look on it, but this one will be a little like toy chew thing. So you have your toilet paper tube, and you're just gonna cut little slits, just like this. And just keep doing that, and I'll pick you up when I'm done it. Hey, I'm doing it. Try not to make your um like kind of tassels um too thick or too skinny, because right here these are probably a good amount, and um. So it's good to have, that's like a good size for them. And so yeah, so as you can see, I'm done on both sides. Looks like this. And um, so what you wanna do is, um, for this one I forgot to mention in the beginning, you'll need some treats and toilet paper. So right here, I'm just gonna go grab those materials. Have treats, but because I'm gonna keep it in my like um, drawer, but, so you're gonna get a little strand of toilet paper and just get a piece and start ripping it up. So it's about like, kind of like, um, little like, kind of like, just, you know, little pieces. Yeah. So this is about a good amount. So what you wanna do is you're gonna, you're gonna just each way. So like right now I would stuff some treats in and then stuff it on this side and then stuff some on this side. And you just keep adding some treats and make sure, and then wait until it is full. Okay, so as you can see, mine is kind of full. I kind of made too much toilet paper because I still have 
this much left. So, but yeah. Next thing you want to do is, as you can see, so what you're going to do is you're just going to bend them all in this, in um, a direction. So just like this. Because as you can see, I'm bending them in a direction. I'm bending them in this direction. I'm just doing that all around, but um, once you get to the last one, so as you can see, this is the last one. Um, you want to get the last one and bend it down and stick it through that through a little hole and close this side up. And then, yep, and then do the exact same on the other side. So I will just do some time lapse in doing this. <laughs> because it's kind of like it's kind of like it's kind of because since they do have very good sense of smelling that's kind of like more smelling and just because I poked the hole through by accident so yeah kind of accident but it worked yeah and your hamster could kind of break into it to get the treats out okay so the next treat your well toy treat thing is you're gonna need some more treats toilet paper and tube and scissors. So what you want to do is stuff it in, stuff the toilet paper in, just like so. Next thing you want to do is you're going to grab this and just push it down just like this. And do it on both sides and push it down just like that until it kind of forms this little like crease kind of and do that on this side and that on this side and it it's it's very an easy toy and the treats are stuck in there with the toilet paper and your hamster could break into it and get it out that's also a very easy toy i would say the easiest are these two now out of the bunch i would say these are the hardest because you have to loop them but don't stress because after they are very good and your hamster will love them. So yeah, thanks for watching and I have my treats. And um, as in some of my videos, you could see some of these in there. So yeah, thanks for watching.